All right, today I have another, I got a grab bag of punch-out boards, you know, miscellaneous boards that just none of them were made up a board set, and I've actually got, so I have no idea if these work in, they were all, they were all purchased as untested, so untested a lot of times means not working, but, uh, you just don't know where it has to. Let's take a look. This is a working uh, backboard and video board that I uh, have on here. So I keep these this whole board set, you know, on hand so I can test. I can test pieces of them and figure out which which board is bad. So it's, it's always nice to do if you can, just to have a working board set to compare to, or at least the schematics. That's always nice. Pin one is brown, so it goes here. Got this plugged in. Looks like I'm missing a sound earphone, which I can borrow from another another board. Oh, five on for music. Set it again. All right, so it comes on, but nothing's happening. Working. Why? One of these days. Let's go to the CPU. Well, I guess one of some of the data lines. Hotline's not there, the key's not there. like the CPU thinks it's running. Yeah, activity everywhere. Let's check the address lines or the chip select and I'll put enable on these. That's 15. It appears it's all right. Not it. What? Funny. So it's not touching, it's not getting any of these three chips. These, looks like it's, it's doing its, you know, it's going for it. Let's check to see. And nothing's resetting, that's interesting. We're not getting one, two. That's high. That's the reset. It's high where it's supposed to be. So it's a ten oh, look at this. We are missing a chip on 8D. Wow. Oh, 
All right, we're missing a ram here. This is a 55, what is it? 55, um, Fifty-five thirty-three. So I'm gonna pull one. One of these traces. I'm gonna pull one and let me trace back where that goes, and then uh, we we'll pop a new chip in, put a socket or something, and see how this it comes back to life. Like I might take this socket over here and move it over because we don't need this socket. These were designed so they could use two RP AO3s, but no game ever did. So we got an extra RAM here. Got two extra sockets. We pull that socket and put it right there and pop a RAM in and see what happens. All right. Okay, we're back. I scavenged this off another board. Um, there is a trace. In 26, it goes all the way up to this resistor here, R9. And it's almost pulled up. But I'm going to start this back on, and we'll see if it fills in the connection. Otherwise, I'll have to run a dumper. I do. Let's see, that's out of take on that trace, just barely. Went up from that pad. I may have to, I may have to dab a little bit on there. All right. See what we get. Six. All right. Hey, we're good to go. All right, let's uh, let's see what we get. Hey! Hey! Little working CPU! Oh! Oh, that's exciting! Mm 
Wow, here's something really cool too. Uh, let me show you this. Uh, the serial number on this is 000999. Wow. That's cool. I've got another, uh, I've got a, a video board in the first 10 boards. Pretty cool. It's 000, 000, 006. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, wow, this is cool. So I've got a working CPU board. It was just missing the uh, one of the RAMs. It's exciting. I'm going to open this up and then we'll try some of the video boards that are that came with this and see if we can get those going. And very cool.